Today, we're going to learn about key details. Key details help us understand a story better than we already do by focusing on just the important stuff. They're also going to help us when we learn about central message, which we should learn about later this week. Let's take a look. Our goal today is going to be to learn how to find key details in stories. It might seem complicated, but once we do this lesson, I'm sure you'll be able to get it. In order to do that, we're going to learn what key details means. It's okay if you don't know already. In fact, you probably don't. And we're going to learn how to use clues to find key details in a story. So let's give it a try. Key details are important details from the story. They are also specific, not general, since that's the definition of details. And they include these story elements, setting, characters, and events. It's okay if you don't know what these mean, we're about to talk about them. Let's take a look. When we find key details, we wanna start by finding the major story elements, setting, that's when and where the story happens. Characters, that's whoever is making the story happen. And events, the stuff that happens in the story. You ready to give it a try? Okay, let's go. Read along with me. My mother took my brother Bill and me to the fun parade on Monday. There were children who rode in cars in the parade and children who walked behind the cars. I saw three pretty white horses walking in the parade. I saw some big dogs running in the parade too. I got lots of candy from the clowns in the parade. The clowns had on purple hats and big orange pants. I saw a clown's puppy with a purple hat and orange pants on it too. After the parade, I ate my candy and I clapped and clapped. It was a fun parade to see with my brother and my mother. It was a fun parade to see the pretty horses, big dogs, clowns, and puppy with purple hats and orange pants too. Take a look at the graphic organizer at the bottom. You can see we have a spot for setting and characters. And then we're gonna look at the events and we're gonna put them in order with the beginning, middle, and end. This should be familiar. So let's take a look at setting. Why don't we underline any of the words that help us figure out what setting means? Parade and Monday tell us where and when this story takes place. It happened at the parade and it happened on Monday. So we can add that to our graphic organizer. Now we wanna look for the characters. Let's go ahead and underline those too. The characters in the story are the mother, the brother Bill, and me. There are a few other characters in the story, like the clowns and the puppy, but they're not really doing much action in the story, so we're not gonna include them in our graphic organizer. Remember, we're looking for just the important details, or the key details. So let's add mother, Bill, and me to the graphic organizer. Now we're gonna underline all of the events in the story. That's the stuff that happens. So we wanna look for action. The first sentence, my mother took my brother Bill and me to the fun parade on Monday, really shows us some action. So the mother is taking me. So I'm gonna put that in the beginning. Mom took me and Bill to the parade, perfect. Now we wanna look for the next action. There were children who rode in cars in the parade and children who walked behind the cars. That's describing the parade, but it's not me, mom, or Bill doing anything. So we're not gonna include it in our events. Remember, we're looking for just the most important events. As I keep reading, I don't see any action until I get to the next detail. I got lots of candy from the clouds in the parade. That's an action that I'm doing. I'm collecting the candy from the clowns. So I can include that in the middle. I got candy and I saw clowns. Great. I keep going and I see one more event. I ate my candy and I clapped and clapped. 
Those are actions that I'm doing, so I want to make sure to include them. I can add them as well. Okay, now our graphic organizer is done, but you might be looking at this and thinking, wow, we didn't underline that much. That's okay. There's a lot of other information in this story, and it's good to have. I'm glad the author included it because it really helped me picture what's going on in my head. But if I didn't include the purple hats and orange pants, I would probably still understand what happens in the story. So it's not a key detail. Remember, we're looking just for the most important ones. That's what key details are. Now that we've done it together, I want you to give a try. I know you'll be able to do a great job. Good luck.